Hello, it's David Brenton from David Brenton's team, real estate company serving central Indiana, located on the south side of Indianapolis. I'm David Brenton, the team leader and broker owner of the company. I get asked regularly different questions about real estate. And one I'm gonna focus on today is, how do I sell my home quick? I mean, I really wanna get it sold and I don't have a lot of money to spend on updating it, so what's the best way to get it sold quick? My answer is, buying a home is a very emotional decision. So, people need to connect with the home when they go in. If they walk in and there's, there's negative odors, there's clutter, there's just, the house doesn't show and feel well, it has less of a chance of selling than if you spend a little time and declutter it and clean it up good. When I say declutter, what I'm referring to is go to your closets, empty the closet out completely, wipe down the closet, then look at what you're putting back in and say, I'm gonna put my house up for sale. My goal is to sell it in the next 30, 45 days. So only put back into the closet the things you absolutely need in the next 45 to 60 days. So a closet that is this big it has this much stuff in it will subconsciously feel spacious while on the other hand a closet that's this big with this much stuff in it will subconsciously feel like there could be a lot of closets but it just feels like there's not enough storage so i find that if you start with the closets go through those then go to the bathroom vanities and onto the kitchen cabinets and take the same approach open the kitchen cabinets empty them out wipe them down so they're nice and clean, and then look at it and say, in the next 60 days, am I gonna need these 12 pots and pans? If you really only use four or five, then box up the others, decide if they're going to you with the next home, or if they're going to Goodwill or to a friend or family member, and get rid of them. The uh, same way with dishes. If you've got 12 plates and you really only use four or five, you got 12 or 15 glasses and you only can get by with four or five. When somebody opens the cabinet doors, and they will when the home's for sale, they'll walk in, they'll open all the cabinet doors and all the closets. And when they open them, they feel spacious. There's stuff not jam packed in completely. But when you, look, when you open them up, look around, they feel like there's plenty of storage space. That will make a big difference. What I find is people will connect with homes that are clean and organized. I'm not telling you you got to alphabetize the pantry or anything, but what I am saying is open the pantry up, empty it out. If you put back the things you're going to need in the next 60 days, great. If you look at it and you've got these products that have been in there for a long time, check the expiration dates. If they're still good and you're not going through them, give them to a food pantry. Let somebody benefit from them. If the expiration date is passed, go ahead and discard them. Again, you're better off to have your house looking clean, showing well, and accenting the amount of storage it has, whether there's a little bit of storage or a whole lot of storage. The fact that the storage is organized will make people feel better about it. Now, think about walking in the front door. What kind of smells? You know, if your house is for sale and you cooked fish or you used a lot of spices last night, that's gonna linger. So think about that when, you're, when your home is for sale and think about what it's gonna smell like when buyers come in the next day. It doesn't have to feel antiseptic clean like a hospital, but it does want to smell and feel welcoming when they walk in. You wanna leave all the lights on when somebody comes in for a showing, and you wanna open all the blinds so as much daylight can come in as possible. You really want people to have the opportunity to connect with your home when they come in. And always, always, leave the home when a buyer comes. Buyers need to be able to talk to each other and experience the home. If the owner's in the house, even if they're in the other room, they're gonna feel restricted to their conversation and they're not gonna connect. Very few homes sell when the owner stays around during showings. So whether you've got your home listed with me and my team or another agent, these things will benefit you getting your home sold quickly. Of course, I feel the best way to get your home quickly is to do all these things and call me or one of my team members and let us put it up for sale and put our marketing behind it and together we'll create a win-win. Thanks for watching. I'm David Brenton, 
If you have any questions at any point, feel free to contact me. David at thebrentonteam.com is my email or my cell number 317-213-1200.